Well, Ferrari is perhaps in many ways the biggest question mark on the grid. They have a new team principal. They have some decidedly unsorted problems. And they have absolutely refused to participate in the traditional who can go fastest at the end of testing fast off that we saw other teams participate in. And I'm just curious now to get the panel's opinion as to where they think Ferrari's testing really wound up. I thought it was quite interesting uh, to see the long run, particularly from Carlos Sainz. And when he was being followed by Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin, I think this was the end of day two or possibly even, even the end of day three, when, as you said, they weren't going for the the high um the, the the fast lap times and they weren't showing bad degradation but the aston martin could keep up with them so where does that put us because realistically with last year ferrari could bang in a fast lap in qualifying but then 10 laps into stint one their tires would be cooked and they would be falling off a cliff and red bull would just be marching on imperiously do we think that they've managed to solve that problem, which is probably the bigger problem that they had rather than out and out pace? Well, the fact that they seem to be quicker in a straight line, but slower in the corners, i.e. the car has relatively a little bit less downforce than last year, that would not bode well for that keeping the tyres alive um, scenario. If they're going to be sliding them about all over the place. In this configuration, of course. In That's, this configuration, caveat. yes, that yes, of course, based on what we have seen in testing, which might not be what we see this weekend. Yes, I get it. Well, I, I, I can I can remind you that Ferrari ran a low downforce, a medium low downforce wing, not appropriate for Bahrain, which has particularly abrasive surface. So running low downforce, you are going to cook the tires a lot faster. They're going to slide more in the corners because you don't have the appropriate amount of downforce. But what you will have is top line speed. So much like Mercedes, we're guessing, ran high downforce to test their purposing solution. It also makes sense that Ferrari, a team that struggled to maintain their tires, might run a lower downforce wing to see how their solutions are working. And the final piece of this puzzle is that the wing they did bring, the new one that was appropriate for the circuit, had issues with DRS. So we never, I don't think, got to see uh, appropriate times from Ferrari, uh, which uh, we should probably see in practice next week. So how optimistic are we then? How optimistic are we? Because I, I think people people are really putting them a firm second. And I, I just don't see that. I think if we come to mid-season, I, I really genuinely think Ferrari will just naturally fall away to third. They might, because we don't know how far along Bonato got with the development. Because from a development point of view, this is still Bonato's car. But what's interesting is what Vasseur, now the team principal, did talk about, which is that they have made some moves in the strategy department. Mm. They've reduced the number of people on the pit wall, and they have, quote, um, revised the flow of communications to make sure we have an efficient exchange. Because when everything goes well, there's time for three or four people to interact. But when you have to react in a second, it's a different story. So maybe Vassour, the HR manager, might actually be bringing some extra good sauce to the Ferrari platform. Yeah, so Chris kind of jumped in earlier and said that it's too early for Fred Vasseur to have made any kind of impact on that Ferrari team whatsoever. And I sat on that for this very moment because I knew I'd be able to prove him wrong, which of course is, of course, he's able to make a difference to that team in the manner that Trumpets has just so eloquent, eloquently pointed out in Easy terms of say. improving the the way the strategy is done because of course that was their achilles heel last year on top of reliability in terms of the car 
and how the car is designed and manufactured and all this, of course, it's far too early for Vassar to have made any kind of difference in that. But the most important thing was the strategy, and he's already addressing the issue. And for those of you who are concerned, because as we all know, Ferrari has to have won the world championship by the end of testing. <laughs> <laughs>